viewers, welcome to another episode of Art and Tourism. viewers you're watching jam on the media and products it's your program arts and tourism today we are here at Tanje at mama africa's art center we will be having interview with auntie aisha fufana here we go can you please tell the viewers out there who is aisha fufana yeah thank you my love um aisha fufana it's a very creative woman born and brought up in Banjul and been married with four kids and left Gambia to abroad and learn a lot and bring back home to motivate the younger generation especially those who love arts and culture I'm a cultural person I love art I love the nature and yeah it's surrounding the nature is surrounding me and I mean this is whom I am and I'm sure that I could do something for my country and my country people really respect love and appreciate this person all the time this I have seen and support me as well and this is why I grow more and more in this country it's my second place thank you that's so awesome from my favorite aunt. Okay, I will ask the next question. That is, how does the name Mama Africa come over? Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Not the biggest mama in Africa. But um, yes, as I was in Germany, I helped a lot of Gambia in Germany and not only Gambia, Gambia, Senegalese and other nationalities. And I opened my first gallery there in Aachen in, the, um, the, um, in um, Cologne, excuse me. And um, this um, restaurant and gallery was opened. It was even not a restaurant. It was a gallery. But the gallery becomes a restaurant a buffet that people will come and eat domoda, yasa, bahal, benechin, you know, and drink wonjo, ginger, and um, drink tea like mbormbor and all these things without paying anything. So my heart was very open and wanted to do something for my people there in Germany. So my gallery become like a gallery and also a restaurant that I mean Gambians and other nations can come when lunch is ready and they can eat and I love the culture I always dress with what we have my cultural dresses and so on and there comes the name Mama Africa it's from the helping and from my appearance that I am always carrying culture with me and the African culture all right. Thank From you. my understanding, mm -hmm. the gallery doesn't start here in Africa. No, the gallery doesn't start here in Africa. The gallery was um, way back in Germany where I start my first gallery. And it was going on and I could see that I was growing rapidly and I was doing very well. People love my art. People love what I'm doing. And I decided to come back home so that I could add into the development of arts and culture here in the country. That's why I came back home. What motivates you to become an artist, especially in the creative arts? Yeah, you know, sometimes you are born with something. You don't even know whom you are until time goes on. You know, I was surrounded by an artist and also uh, being a creative person and also seeing a lot. And the most important thing is, um, you know, a woman in the Gambia gives a lot of motivation and 
you know we are full of colors you know we are full of styles you know and we are very creative in general so most of my motivation this is why when i paint you see a lot of women's figures there because uh, women need to be celebrated every time so i celebrate them every time in my paintings because of the hard working and the colors and the the how to call it again and um they are their dressings, their way of behavior, you know. So, woman in general in Africa is art because anything we are doing, we um, we are combining it with play and loves, and especially the women, for example, in the garden, you know. I'm surrounded also here in Tangier by garden ladies, you know. No matter how much they walk, they play, they laugh they dance sometimes they just get up and start to dance and nothing happened you know and this gives them really joy you know so it's it's a hard job but they create a fun out of it which is very motivating you know so that's why i really said we have to celebrate them every time and they motivate me every time when i see ladies here in tanji in batu kunku in tujering in sanyang etc bull food every ladies around they just hard working and this is everyday motivation for me when i'm seeing them sorry for the men's papas i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> the that i will ask is apart from the museum what other things are you doing here Oh, I'm doing a lot, my girl. <laughs> Maybe this question I could not answer. Wow. Maybe you could talk to my manager. He is right now in the field, uh, in the place here. Maybe he could tell you a little bit. This will be a long story. I am, I am not a person who just stay with one thing. I do a lot. I'm very open, and I am. I have a school. I'm helping ladies. I am always in for the needies all what i have is for the needies i stay natural and simple um because i cannot surround i cannot uh, be surrounded by um people whom you know where we are now in this corona time it's a very hard time for all over the world for example yeah. people are not having good job hotels are closed people are in need so every little thing i have i support i have a um a consultation mm -hmm. which i help people who are sick I help people, especially women, to know their fertile days, mm -hmm. to space, to do child spacing, mm -hmm. so that they will not get one child after the other, yeah. and then you cannot support them. Mm -hmm. It's better to give time mm -hmm. that you will not just get them full in your house and you don't know what to do with them. Yeah. A lot, my girl, etc., etc. Uh, really, a lot. I just don't want. If I start, it's like I start to praise myself. That's why I said you have to talk to the manager. Okay. It's very difficult for me to explain all what I'm doing, all right. and it's also very touching sometimes, you know, to explain, you know. But I do a lot in the country, in my own corner, <laughs> with or without people knowing it. I think it's better so it stays like this. Yeah. Yeah. Auntie Aisha. Which year did you start this gallery here in the Gambia? Well, my first gallery I uh, start at the year 2009, mm -hmm. and uh, this was Batokunku. Sorry, I start construct it 2009 and 2010. I move in okay. and continue to construct it until 2015 mm -hmm. when it was demolished. And then it was a big shock for everyone. And let's say that's my second gallery mm -hmm. I have opened. And this is five years old. 
it was a lot of work it was a heavy job and this is why up to today many don't know this place okay because after doing all this job i decided to take a break I'm a woman and since 2009 I've been working up till now <laughs> and I start up this new place then I have to really take it easy and think about what to do next <laughs> and uh, next is to promote it <laughs> more so that people can start to enjoy it but so far the place has been open since three years now people have been going and coming but it was not in social media, it was not advertised well and proper just because I think that, I mean, there should be a break, you know because I know that I have to be everywhere and because I like standard and let's say a place to work really good and I have to be there and I don't want to exhaust myself so much and this is why I just take things easy but many have found this place and many are enjoying this place today together with me that. Yeah. and art lovers are also coming here mm. you know students are coming here I'm training a lot of Gambians <laughs> you know in the field of art you know give them the talent and let them go and you know stand by their own feet show them how to catch a fish so all these things I am doing here yeah. Yeah. That's very good. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, we're so happy. It's a very, very nice place. And I'm sure all Gambians would love to be here. So thank you once again for the time. Do have a nice day. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you.
everything afresh from from the roots from the grassroots I could say but she, she had no one to actually even help her do any of these things she, she was the main architect she, she designed everything you see here from the art gallery over there and this is part of the restaurant or the garden some of the customers would prefer sitting downstairs here or go up upstairs where we have the main restaurant and the kitchen and also a small vegetable garden out there from where we, the foods we serve in here most of them come from here we grow what we eat and they are all organic yeah. we don't use any chemicals here mm -hmm. we have other stuff if you could go around you can see many different plants and trees here so this is how we operate here in mama africa Okay, thank you, young Kuba. As we all hear from him, eat what you grow and grow what you eat. It's very lovely for agriculture. Let's get into the gallery and see what is in there. Yes, you're welcome. This way, please. Sure. Paintings ourselves. This one was done in 2015, as you can see the date below. It has signature. And these are artifacts that she collected from different parts of the world. So we can have a quick look around and show you all the things in here. And these are bracelets, see me with herself. And this bag, these are the bags, and you can see there are many old paintings in here. Have a look at this one. Done with a painting brush. If you take a closer look, then you can see the painting brushes attached to it. Mm -hmm. This is an image of her Aisha Fofana. That's Mama Africa. Looks like a, a painting or a drawing or something. With a real image. And this one is a dress belonging to her own grandmother. So it's been here for ages. You can have a look. And that one, this one here. Okay. 
Okay? Anyone out there would have, would definitely want to feel the real feeling of Africa. I think you can come in at Mama Africa Art Center and have a view of the beautiful place in here, the garden and the art gallery and the lovely juices we provide in here. So you can come in the gallery, it's for free, then you can have a quick look around the garden, then decide if you want to have a, if you want to eat anything or drink anything from our Africa, then you can come in. You are all welcome here. We also have a residential area. We have guest houses, so it's your choice. You can choose to spend the night here or just come for a couple of hours, then that's it. Welcome to another episode of Arts and Tourism.